Hi friends, we are going to be talking today about a disease called Central Serous Chorioretinopathy. So earlier it was called Central Serous Retinopathy, now the choroid also is getting involved. Uh, that we have found out with the help of uh, OCT, ocular coherence tomography. So what is it, where does it occur, why does it occur and what is the diagnosis for that and treatment. This is what we are going to see. I am Dr. Sashi for H2. So um, this central serous retinopathy is a fluid accumulation in the central part of the retina called fovea or macula and in that area the fluid accumulates in the um, and separates the retina from the choroid or separates the choroid as well. Uh, so this the, we didn't know why it occurred till it was found as early as uh, 1800s. It, uh, um, there has been history or data that uh, central serous retinopathy was detected and more so a lot of people who were in the war zone, the uh, war zone soldiers were the ones who got affected. So they presume that probably the stress could be a major reason and uh, yes, till date that is what is holding very strongly good. Um, and uh, um, how's, how can it be diagnosed? So the patient comes with a typical uh, complaint saying that the central portion of the, the visual field, uh, it gets blurred or just the central portion alone it gets blurred, the, all the other areas are all clear. So once one they land up to us, the common people who come are people who have um, just started their business or they are in their peak of their business, they have a lot of tensions. Um, they are the ones who are uh, commonly coming, mostly males uh, who have so much of stress financially. Now recently we have started seeing children who are uh, uh, preparing for their competitive exams both in school and college they also seem to be having this condition and recently we had a child uh, who is in 11th standard just going to finish school and she has had this central serous retinopathy and that is why this video how we need to know about it and how to prevent it is what this video is for so stress uh, is the major factor you can pull the body to uh, to a certain extent and beyond that if you pull it uh, the, the the body responds differently and this is one such way in the eye uh, the other is gastritis um, and uh, third is other problems the stress can increase to cause diabetes hypertension so on and so forth the ways to diagnose are uh, dilated fundus examination when you see the retina it has a small bump instead of a dip so in the central part of the retina uh, that's because of the fluid accumulation there and um, uh, what are the treatments we give we also by uh, diagnosis the clinching diagnostic feature is Amsler's grid chart when you the lines which are supposed to be um, straight they become curved and uh, they become foggy so you would see the picture so this is how we diagnose and uh, we can also do a flundus fluorescein angiogram to see whether there is a leak in a particular area if it is standing for a long time and um, uh, also ocular coherence tomography OCT also detects the fluid accumulation there accurately so the treat diagnosis is done what is the treatment treatment is basically uh, giving stress management you uh, ask the child or the person where the problem is and ask them to uh, get relieved from that in, in whatever way possible because health is the most important wealth so whatever they're doing even if they're going for their exams it's better they tone down um, because once damaged is it's a permanent damage and vision is so very important that's what we stress upon and most of them get better in spite of that if some uh, people they they are not able to come over it 
then we need to do a laser focal uh, laser on that uh, leakage point and it gets better. Uh, sometimes it might be multiple uh, areas of uh, uh, involvement in which case it becomes even more difficult but laser again is uh, one big option and after that we also give a nice uh, anti-anxiety tablet as well for about 20 days or 30 days. So this is uh, what we do and uh, take care of the diet, uh, breathing exercise, meditation, all that is also advised. So this kind of problems to prevent it, please avoid stress. And earlier on itself, um, start taking precautions by doing meditation, breathing exercise and don't stress yourself in whatever way is possible. Thank you. I am Dr. Sashi.